Hey guys, welcome back to Stalker. And it's a damn shame that we can't leave here because I think we actually want to do the quest where we say find out about barges and joker's fates because I just realized that affects the ending somewhat. Not really too much, but uh, we can't leave, so fuck. You know, let's just hope that I guess things work out, but if they don't, then I guess, uh... I guess I'll just uninstall life or whatever. I don't know, fuck it. Alright. So, we're gonna go head out there. Uh, we can't bring out the gun rolls, we can't leave. And, what are we doing today? We are... Investigating source of signal. So hopefully the guy comes back, but... This may not be- this better not be one of those cop-outs where the guy that left to, like, that lets me leave back to Yanov Station or whatever. Just never comes back, because that'd suck ass. Fuck it, just bring out the shotgun. So we can see my enormous arm. I have slugs in this too. And they actually aren't that bad. You know what? You know what, fucker? Get over here. Oh, that's not my knife. Fuck, knife is number one. There we go. They have to learn someday that you don't attack the big man in the suit. Alright, so what's here? It's underground? Well, that's impossible. I'd have to dig a hole. Alright, I guess we're gonna give up. Oh shit, wait, no, it's going this way. The fuck? Yo, can this signal stop moving, please? The signal is gone. Why am I chasing a signal? Why am I out of breath? The signal is outsmarting me at every turn. It's back. It's right next to you. It's close, and it's moving toward our base. It's underground. Major Kowalski here. You better get back here. We need to prepare for possible attack. Bastards won't catch us with our pants down this time! They're, so they're definitely not, so since we're preparing for attack, I'm definitely not gonna have to put my weapon away, am I? Uh, oh, wow, I actually didn't. Stalker who disabled the Scorcher? Yes. But my plan didn't work. I came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. And the mission is starting. Come, let's talk inside. We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopter support. The only way to get to the borders of the zone is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. We had a map with the safe air corridor between anomalies, and the helicopters had emission protection systems. That's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, which makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. So that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely 
provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. Lieutenant, get him on the line as soon as you can. Alright, sweet. And... Oh, this is sleeping. Alright, it looks like we're not allowed to leave. Hey, look, it's Trollock. I'll share everything I know as, uh, I know, as long as this information reaches the light, right, people? Uh, what information do you want to hand over to the government? Lots of things. I'm sure that the, the information I have can be used to destroy the zone. I thought I could do it myself, but it turned out to be far more complicated. People st uh, the people who started it weren't in control anymore. I'll explain everything when I get out of here. What did you see in the sarcophagus? It's all fake. The monolith of Witch Granter is just a lie. A device that clouds your mind. A p the people behind it are hiding out uh, somewhere else. Do you know who's behind it? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't want to. I don't know what to believe anymore. But despite that, I found out way more than they wanted me to. We monitored a radio signal. Yes, I contacted a stalker called Guide. He told me how to get to this place via the underground tunnels. Who is Guide? He's a legendary stalker. They say he can lead you anywhere in the zone. The army bowers are lucky to have met him. They wouldn't have lived long without him. Uh, how did you know the military was here? Guide told me. He was the one who brought Kowalski and his squad here. Okay. Well. I wish he was here now to bring me back to other various areas. But that's okay. We have we have things to repair. For zero ruse. What seriously? It's locked? See you next time. Man, it's crazy this stuff. I could see Krell begging me for aspirin la later on. How do you feel what after what happened? I'm okay now. I'm in stage shock after kindergarten, but as soon as the mission started, I stepped out pretty quick. Okay. Where does headache come from? Well, no one else. I'm just not allowed to leave, though. Yeah, I'm afraid to move around at all. Just as I said that. It looks like the emission is over. Kirillov, contact HQ. Roger. HQ on the line. Because of the emission, it's impossible to establish comms during one. Okay. All right, listen up. Operation Fairway is being taken over by the USS. Is Major Dick Tarif there? Yes. Okay. He's in command from now on. Tell him to stay put. To be contacted by his superior shortly. Roger. Major Degtyrev here. I read you. Good. As of this moment, you are responsible for completing Operation Fairway. Kowalski and the Stingray Squad will assist you. Report. I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelak, and he's offered us his cooperation. Yes, I have the data, and Straylock's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B-28. Stingray squad will be evacuated with you. The birds
Fighters are already in the air. Over and out. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Any questions? Get ready to move. Major, can I have a word? <laughs> yeah, you can have that after I um, switch up my weapons. Uh, let's have a look. No more shotgun. We're gonna take the Gauss rifle. Actually, we're gonna keep this rifle with us as well, not the AS valve. As valve will be equipped, but we're gonna keep this one with us. We don't need this shit anymore. We need all the batteries though. There we are. Did they have like shit batteries? I think that that's what's in them right now. <clears throat> and now we're gonna take as much as possible with this. What the hell? Get back here. We have to keep her weight kind of nice though. I don't think there's much more here. Let's just take all the energy drinks we can. Um, <clears throat> maybe another scope for this guy. I think it already has a... What's this one? 9mm suppressor. We'll see. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which one's the best shit to take with us. Ah, uh, yeah, this one's good. So we still have a little bit of leeway here, so maybe that Desert Eagle would be good too. You never know. Alright. So among us, uh... So among us, you and Strelok have the most experience in the zone. The difference is, while Strelok's experience remains hearsay, the fact that your approach is clear as day. What I'm trying to say is, I'm counting on you, Major. Keep an eye on Strelok. There's not many of us left. Okay, Major, the bo the boys are good to go. Stock up by visiting uh, the two guys. Uh, and let me know when you're ready. All right. <clears throat> um, just get as much as we can out of them. Uh, let's see. He will not give me battery, but he will give me uh, 939 assault rifle ammo. Yeah, I'm up for that. And I'll just we'll just take as much as that as we can. All right, <laughs> I like how it's like I can't. I we're we're trying to conserve shit, but we're trying to leave. Oh, and I'm actually completely full on weight now. Okay, we we don't need this shit anymore. To drop a couple things. I mean, just use some of this crap. <laughs> just eat steroids. Fuck it, might as well. Alright, get your soldiers ready. I'm ready, ready to go. Alright, cover Strelok. We'll take care of ourselves. Move out. This guy's still not sitting on the table properly. Move out, squad. All right, that's actually give it a nice hard save, actually. Would you look at that? The sons of bitches actually made it. You were right, Strelok. Zombies. Alright. Who's the guy that's not staying with us? I'm trying to evac. No man left behind, probably.
Oh, here's a guy. There's still some guys over here. Oh, he's like in there somewhere, or where is he? I can see someone over there. And now we're gonna put in our nice batteries too. You know, this Goss really isn't that great. I mean, I think I should just be using this weapon, uh, the, this weapon for now. Wait, why the fuck are we going this way? This is the worst evacuation I've ever seen. Well, all I can do is stay with you guys. Although we know the general direction of the helicopter. If only I had a long range weapon for this. Fuck it. Go back to this guy. See, this one also gives me the wall hacks. Fuck, where, where did Strelak go? Holy shit. He Strelak the Hedgehog us. Like, seriously. Is this him? Yeah, dude, he just doesn't fucking care. I mean, realistically, I think this is the only guy I need to keep alive, though. Hey, 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 you wanna stop? Yo, you're gonna die. <laughs> this fucking guy. You know, that's me from the first game. Did I- did I not give a fuck like this? Like, we just- we just abandoned the military, holy shit. We just don't care. Oh, fucking shit. Major, where are you? We need to get Strelok to the evacuation point. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Where is he going? I, I don't understand. I'm with him right now. Major, we're going to have to keep moving. Okay, he just fucking died. He just walked right into me. can't him. wait any longer. <laughs> he just fucking died. Uh, I think he glitched out. I'm just gonna go out on, on limb and say here. Oh good, we're back here. The fuck is this disastrous fucking... Exit that we're doing here. Oh, oh, there's Strelok. Or no, that, that, that's some other bald guy. Every zombie in Pripyat is going to know we're coming. We've got to move faster. Run! All right, we're back. We're back to this place. Dude, when when someone says strike, run, strike, run. Hey, you guys want to hear a bit of an interesting fact? So, this weapon has a suppressor on it. Now, interesting fact is, suppressors don't actually silence. The weapon isn't silent, the weapon is still really fucking loud. It's something I actually didn't know much about, and then I learned about it. Um, so, if you actually want to silence the weapon, you have to prevent the, uh, the bullets from basically going faster and like, kind of breaking the sound barrier, because that's what makes all the noise. You use like, the subsonic rounds in a weapon. That's what makes it quiet. 
Okay, he's doing it again. So it begs the question, what does the suppressor do in this game? Because you need to reduce the muzzle velocity, actually, of the, of the rounds. Yeah, he's gonna fucking die. Major, where are you? We need to get Strelok to the evacuation point. This looks funky as fuck. Major, we can't wait for you much longer. I'm fucking dead. Because he's just, he's kind of just running into them. What am I supposed to do? I don't know how you keep him alive. Is he like, I, I'm beginning to wonder if this is like actually a part of the game. Fuck. I couldn't even like scope in on him. Is it like, is, is he getting fucked up by the controller or something? That like, there's something psi related there. Wait, where is he? We can't wait any longer. We're leaving in six. He fucking he he died. He's right next to me, and then he died. He did it again. I actually don't know what to do here, to be honest. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, let's just run out in the open here. Yeah, they're like, they're basically snipers here. Why is he running into the sniper infested fucking den? Like he, 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 this is the second time he's done that. He just split off in the group. He died again. Ah, fuck dude. Luckily I did save it beforehand, but. I'm hoping I could try and salvage this somehow. Like, why does he, why does his AI just start ignoring everything? Wait, where is he? He's already dead again. Fuck, okay, we're just doing, doing this from the beginning. Alright, so, I just want to tell you guys, um, so when he says to run, Strelak actually listens. Up ahead. He actually starts, they, we actually start running ahead. Now the problem with this is the fact that um, he doesn't know when to stop running. So my strategy right now is actually going to be to just run ahead and clear clear out everything before he even gets there. Uh, let's get some cold one going. Where is he? Yeah, you can, you can see he's kind of running over, so... Uh, I forgot exactly where it is, so he's going to be here eventually. What matters is we kind of clear it for him. I, uh, I actually have no idea where we're supposed to be going. So I guess we're going to wait for him. So the military, they're just a bunch of idiots right now. Oh, it's through here, isn't it? So we have the Goss rifle now. No, we're actually going through here. Fuck. So, he's supposed to stop and kill this stuff, but he doesn't do it. But the even bigger threat is the, uh... The, the snipers on the roof there. So, and the monolith. So, I don't know if he's gonna live through this. He's like through there, somewhere. He's behind a tree, so I have absolutely no idea how he's able to shoot anybody, to be honest. This is kind of a bullshitty part, I won't lie, but you know what, this is the, how most of Stalker's M game goes, where I'm supposed to, if I want the best ending, I have to protect an NPC, and there's some kind of sigh thing that's trying to kill me, but there's nothing we can do about that. Wait for you much longer. 
shit. This drug's a fucking mongoloid. Major, we're going to have to keep moving. Okay. Where where'd he go now? Wait, what? Uh, how am I fucking so down? I need my strawberries run out. What is he doing? Guys, I I literally I all I can do is follow him around. Yeah, we got this thing side related here. I like how the bullets kind of bounce up. It's kind of cool. Alright, well, we're gonna just see where he's going, because I've loaded this several times and he just does the same thing, so... Those bastards again, maybe we should go around the building! There's no time! Check your weapons and fire at will! <laughs> what? No, well, it's luckily it's turning it tonight, so it's gonna get even more horrendous. Why is he going here? Okay, good. Honestly, this is the only guy I need to keep alive, and uh, that's gonna be tr quite the chore, I can tell already. So he kind of just runs up there. It doesn't kill anything. Kind of runs it up there. It doesn't do anything. Then comes back here. Isn't doing anything. Like I get it. They decided to tell us to come back. He's like, where did you guys go? But I don't, I don't think he was actually supposed to come up that far. Look at, look at this fucking like tactical like like backstep. What the fuck is this shit? Who, who in the point? He's in the front. And he's running backwards. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, there's a thing still here. Fuck. Where is it? Don't stop. Keep moving. Revive the medic. Yeah, let's revive the medic. Sounds pretty good. Huh? Okay, run! No man left behind. He's fine. That was me slamming my hand on my, my table. Because I just shot Strelak in the head. What was that? Yeah, let's just put both these guns up. Don't stop. Keep moving. It's here! Run! Huh? Okay, run! Okay, run! Shit. Okay, let's just save it here. Alright. 
a shit ton of monolith here. Luckily we have the gauss rifle for this. Or unluckily. Cover the military. There's... Is there a guy up here? There must be. It's hard to know exactly where to go. That's a military guy, I'm pretty sure. Where's, uh... I think Strzok's still up, right? They are ridiculous this night. I, I thought I'd kill that guy too, actually. Twice over, but I think something keeps replacing him there. Get ready, man. No, he's... he's back there. Fire at will. I don't know anyone named that, though. Yeah, I guess he's a baddie. Did Strzok live? I think he did. As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Diktyrev was offered a promotion to colonel and the position of mission coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to the information about the development of psi devices obtained by Diktyrev alerted USS commanders. All the information gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratory. Several experimental samples were made on the basis of technical documents for item 62. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of the weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of the Gauss rifle is ongoing. Sultan and his gang left the Skadask to do their shady business elsewhere after their attempts to capture the ship failed. The ensuing feeling of relative safety among stalkers led to a massive increase in the number of artifacts sold to Beard, causing his business to boom. While the formerly quiet sky following the destruction of the Bloodsucker Lair, it's unlikely that anything could significantly change the state of affairs on the Skadafs. The old ship became a temporary center of stability. In the ever change, a fragile balance was reached between freedom and duty squads at Yanov Station. Tired of the endless struggle, fighters of both factions started leaving their squads and joining the Free Stalkers. The scientific expedition, organized by professors Herman and Ozersky, was a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology, which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for Gary's stories about the Army's fate scared stalkers away from Pripyat. 
the few who dared to venture into the city ran into inexplicable phenomena, which added further dark strokes to an already gloomy picture of the dead city. The area around Yanov Station gained a reputation for being one of the most dangerous places in the zone. Fewer and fewer stalkers make it back from raids, many dying at the hands of mutants within view of the camp. One of those missing is Trapper, who set out to track down a Zulu returned to Duty's main base at the Rostock plant. Nobody knows what he discussed with the leader of Duty, General Veronin, but several days later he was spotted at the head of a large squad on its way to the Vano headed off to the freedom-controlled military warehouses, where his cheerful personality and optimism quickly earned him the popularity they merited. Ultimately, he took charge of a small group of researchers involved in investigating a new group appeared in the zone. They are well trained, but their objectives are not known. Rumors say they used to be monolith fighters. Their leader is known as Strider. The list of casualties suffered in the course of Operation Fairway was amended with yet another name. Senior Lieutenant O.N. Sokolov died in the line of duty. A group of stalkers was forced to seek shelter on Noah's old barge during a particularly powerful emission. When the barge was attacked by a horde of snorks afterwards, stalkers were forced to concede that the barge was as good a defense against mutants as anything they'd seen. Even more astonishing was a litter of pseudo-dog puppies that Noah himself led into having overcome his alcoholism, Cardin left the Skadovsk. Stalkers said he went to look for his missing friends. Several days later, he returned, suffering from wounds and radiation poisoning. As soon as his wounds healed, he left the zone for the second and final time. Strelok passed on the information he obtained on his trip to the Chernobyl NPP to the USS commanders. This prompted the government to create a scientific institute for research of the Chernobyl anomalous area. Strelok took up the position of when Colonel Kowalski, commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone. He was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation and the brass's failed attempt to make him the fall guy, What the fuck was with that final cutscene? Um, let me just turn the sound down for myself a little bit. I'm looking this up right now, and the mod may have done that. That's what I'm hearing. That's fucking... Okay. Um, yeah, so... The ending was slightly unsatis uh, unsatisfying, as you could see. Uh, I'm reading that it was probably the mod. Apparently it was fixed in, like, some patch, but then it was broken again or something. And the English, like, translator doesn't match up at all. So, I think it was, like, a localization issue where the English translator took longer to say what the words were, which weren't even matching anything. Like, the subtitles which are hard to read as it is, I won't lie. We're not matching what the guy was saying, and the guy was talking forever, and then it just cuts him off. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I think it was like that before, actually. I, I just forgot that's how it worked. Oh my god, it's fucking awful, man. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I think, I, as I said, I'll look a little bit more into that. But uh, if you're watching this right now, and it's a, in the current state that it's in, it's, uh, then you'll know that there was nothing I could do about that. Um, this isn't the best ending, obviously. Uh, there was like a couple, like some guy died at the end. Uh, the guy, the alcoholic guy, um, I was supposed to re find his friends for him, but I didn't do that. Um, I forgot that would be actually be an ending thing, but at the point that I realized that I was too late to go back. Um, 
And it looked like there's a couple of other things which I didn't do 100% correctly uh, either. I mean, I gave Morgan's PDA, which is something I got in the first tray. I gave it to fucking Owl, so I was just whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. As I said, I, I attempted and that's it. <laughs> it just kind of fell apart at the end here, so what am I supposed to do? Um, yeah, that's it for that. Um, Final thoughts. So, the endings, I think, of any of the Stalker games are not exactly what you remember it for. You just kind of remember the beginning and middle of the game. Um, I kind of just felt like going through it. I I kind of did this thing where... Now, let me, let me just tell you. Okay, usually the, the shit I do has like a... Um, I either prepare... A, a, okay, ending, and fucking credits over, guys. I am not joking. I have not pressed a button since the fucking final cutscene. Okay, this is just this is how it goes. Um, let's just fucking watch it again. Why not? Uh, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, right. So, like, my I have like a kind of like a, a my preparation for shit varies. It goes from I don't prepare at all to I prepare heavily. So. Example of something on like, it's like a spectrum. So on the high end of the spectrum, there'd be something like StarCraft 2 where I literally play the mission before that. I prepare so much for it, uh, things like that. Or there's something on the lower end of the spectrum, which is like blind LPs and stuff like that. Like something like Skyrim that I did a while back was probably the lowest I ever prepared for something. And you know, it suffered for it kind of. Um, but usually it depends. Sometimes people don't care, sometimes people care. Um, I just, I kind of just felt like running through the game. I didn't, I just thought it would come back to me slowly, but judging by the fact that a lot of people were telling me things that I should have been doing or things where, uh, where things were and like some weapons that I was missing and things like that, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Um, I guess I should have tried to run through it a little bit on my own before doing it for YouTube or whatever. Um, you know, it's just whatever. I guess I, that's my only regret is that I kind of just did, thought I'd just bumble through it and um, I mean that's kind of what I did and people uh, you guys were not it some people were not fans of it I know, I know some people didn't mind it they just kind of like the experience of me just going through it and kind of not completely knowing what to expect because I forget the stuff I it's been so long since I played it but uh, usually usually when when I get a lot of complaints that's when I realized I probably should have done it slightly differently but whatever it's fine I still got through it I don't think anyone really cared either way it's weird because this is i guess one of those games where like um people are just really into it and i you can see why definitely it's it is it's good and it's bad um but i would say overall it's still really good i mean you saw the glitches like it's glitches all he oh, holy hell um <laughs> anything like like the those glitches holy shit but then you get the parts where you like you go underground or you're just like running like walking around the zone like going to exploring it and things like that you know that shit is actually super interesting and i probably should just do more of it but i i got to a point where like we were just completely done the game so i'm like ah fuck it i'll just finish it um because i think i've had enough of the mod and it just abruptly goes back to the menu again um yeah just it, like it's we probably should have done some more exploring but i i kind of um I got locked into basically, like the game would, was is not very clear on what when you're gonna get locked out of content kind of thing. Like you just have to be careful when you get to Pripyat because you eventually get so far through the quest line that it's just like oh, suddenly I can't do anything else, and you do a bunch of kind of irreversible mistakes uh, that you just can't do. You gotta just do another run, which is I guess fine, but like it's one of those things. There, I'm I'm sure there was a couple places in Pripyat I didn't I didn't go to, so kind of sad about that because I explored the shit out of Yenov and I explored the shit out of. Uh, uh, whatever that first area is, but I didn't quite explore so much of the third area as much as I actually would have wanted to by the end, but I realized, but I, by the time I realized we were doing the final mission, it was too late. I couldn't do anything about it, so. Because I just, I'd forgotten, I knew at some point I was supposed to start, but the minute I saw Strelak, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, this is it. So, uh, that's it for that. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I found it extremely enjoyable and as for the mod the mods were i still think pretty good it added some interesting weapons like all i all i really wanted was kind of like a vanilla experience with just like a little bit of change like just a slight change i think it was good enough i think that the uh, the bolt action sniper that i had i think that was maybe too powerful because you usually don't get anything like long range until much later in the game and i had it 
um, near the end of the early part of the game, like when I left to uh, Jupiter, uh, that's when I had the sniper rifle. Pretty much at that point. So it's like one third through the game, I pretty much had it. And then I was just destroying everything from that point on. Because uh, that shit was way too powerful. So it was extremely unbalanced in that way, I'd say. Um, maybe not. Uh, you guys can make up your own mind, but that's what I found it to be. And it's really weird because, you know, you don't... You wonder why these are such great games, but you just don't... It makes no sense because it's glitchy as all holy fuck. It crashes all the time. Um, it seems like such a piece of shit, but it's so fucking good. And it's only good for one reason. And it's for more of what it lacks than more from what it has. Like, it lacks guidance. Like, and that's actually really good because there's not some character going like, fucking like, Stalker, you need to go to do this mission right now. Let me remind you on the radio for 15 times. You know? And it's just because they, I guess they didn't really like, they didn't have the development manpower, I guess, to do stupid shit like that. Like, just video game cliches sort of thing and then like that actually made it a whole lot better because then you go into like these underground sections nobody's fucking talking to you it's just you and just exploring kind of a thing it's it, it's weird that it's such a difficult thing to accomplish because the developers like the developers of this game don't like they're not here anymore they're they're somewhere else now because they stopped making starker games this is the last one they did ip is owned by who knows who um but Silent Hill went on to do the Metro 33 games. That's not even close to what, st how good Stalker is, kind of thing. It's fucking weird, man. And like, I, and like, you, you, you think you should expect more out of it, and you probably should. But it's just, it's still so damn good. I don't, I don't understand why. It's just, I, the endings are always just absolute dog shit for the for for Stalker games. Like it's just, it, it was the same in the Shadow of Chernobyl. It's the same here. I mean, you know what? You could probably just do this thing where your your mission is to get to Pripyat, you know, and that's it. And then once you get reach Pripyat, then you're basically done. You just explore it and then just 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 quit the game. You're done. <laughs> you don't need to do the evacuation thing. Just fuck that shit. Because um, that's where like the game just goes solidly. I, I'd say downhill. But it's just like the last ten minutes of the game. That's basically like, oh, this is garbage. Uh, but like. This is hours and hours, right? And everything else was really good. So, I, I don't know why it was, they just couldn't make a, it's because they did like heavy scripting and shit in these ending cuts, ending things, and they were trying to make it really kind of epic, but they kind of just fall flat, and so they're kind of shit in that sense. And so if you're the kind of person who just kind of goes and leaves with the last impression, you're like, oh, it's garbage, but I mean, you know, every other part was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately I didn't do a full ending. You know, you know, after this, it's really sad because like now I just want to play Misery Mud. I won't lie. I just want to give it another crack and I know that 2.2 is supposed to come out soon. So I'm probably going to go stream that sometime whenever that comes out. I mean, it's, it's, it's soon TM symbol. Like it's a uh, fucking been like that for, I think like two years, but I think they're apparently they're really close to something. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully that comes out soon because now I have an itch to do that actually really sad um but you know i i'd never completed a uh, uh shadow a call of pripyat run on my channel i haven't done clear sky either but clear sky is a piece of shit but i'll give that another try sometime and see if i actually want to do that for my channel at all we'll see i guess what i'll do with that i had a lot of fun though uh, despite the fact of the minor gripes of um glitches holy shit that ending was so glitchy I had forgotten that. I, I don't know if it was fixed by anything, if, if it can be fixed by anything, but we'll see it, we'll see. Um, I, I actually, the mod was nice. It did exactly what I wanted it to, which is like just add a bit of a mix to the vanilla game. So, um, you know, some pleasant surprises and things like that. I don't think any of the AI got any of the special weapons that I had though, I have to say. I'm not sure if they did or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean on the side of probably not. Um, I think just at the end there, I was just kind of like, let's just get it over with, because it, like, it was just so bad. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this shit. Um, as I said, but the, I, I love the rest of the game. It was, it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, you know, imagine if they did something like, you know, you, you, you go and you look at this, and you're like, why the fuck haven't they made another Stalker game? Like, you know, like, this is made by, like, a fucking, like, penny budget, you know? 
they're like they, they they barely spent any time on this and it's just so fucking like great like of a concept right and you wonder to yourself well why the fuck haven't they done something like you know they made another game where like maybe like with optional co-op you know you you explore the fucking anomalies with your friends or something or you know like it just a group or like they had they were making apparently an mmo for this kind of a thing which also would have been interesting but not really i guess i don't know um but like I, I i i can think of so many ideas for this and i wonder why they haven't done it like the best that i we've seen that's similar to this is metro 2033 and that's a piece of shit like in in comparison it just pales because that's just some linear fucking garbage that like based upon a book or something that's like yeah i like okay it's not terrible but it's not like good either let's just look let's just agree there that's not like you know it, it, it's just it's so weird it's, there's like there's there's somewhere in here I, I want them to make another I want them to make another game like this but like without bugs and like with more exploration and shit you know it'd be fucking great if you guys if anyone's listening out there with some fucking you know game programming uh, ideas you know here's one right here I'm just so surprised it's never been done again uh, but oh well so, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching, and I will come back to this definitely at some point, maybe with Misery Mod. If not on stream, then, I don't know, YouTube or something. We'll see. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and uh, take care. Goodbye.